Globacom, Nigeria's first indigenous mobile operator, has launched Glow TV. It is a TV streaming service and it is free until 21st September 2021. Joining the likes of Netflix, Amazon Prime, DSTV Now, and a host of others in the TV streaming business, what is Glow TV bringing to the table? In this video, I'm going to guide you on how to sign up and install the Glow TV app on your smartphone plus a quick review of all the new features. If you're ready, let's go. Okay, welcome back. While I am already enjoying the Glow TV for free from late August until 21st September 2021, I realized that many people can't even sign up. Just take a look at the app reviews on the Google Play Store. Many of these points are valid because my first and second attempt to sign up didn't work. I used my office wife in the first one and MTN data. The solution. To sign up without hassle, you will need an active GLOW number with a data plan. Turn on your GLOW data, open your browser and type myglowtv.com on the URL and hit enter. Type in the current GLOW number that you are using to browse and click sign up. In the next space, choose your password. Email address is optional, so you can skip it and click Next. You will be sent a one-time password to your Glow number, copy and paste it, and then click Submit. You will get an SMS notification that your registration is complete. The username is the registered phone number. You can now download the Glow TV app from the App Store or Google Play Store, sign in with your username and the newly created password, and that's it. Isn't that simple? Once you've logged in, let's have a quick tour, a review, and my thoughts on the Glow TV app. If you like this video, this might be a good point to click on that like button and subscribe to get more videos like this. Let's start with the pros of this app. First, the user interface design. I am impressed with the UI design. It is clean, navigation is easy, and content placement is on point. The main menu is neatly arranged. You can get to each option with ease. Live TV menu category is as good, if not better than other streaming services that I've used. Continue watching option and its placement is a pure joy. You can easily just resume whatever you're watching before, and <laughs> that's very, very nice. Then there is data bundles for the Glow TV apps. Right from inside the app, you can get some very good deal as low as 150 Naira for 500 MB. Even the 1,400 for 6 gig seems like a sweet spot. The TV guide is okay. It wasn't spectacular, but it's solid. It gets the job done. There are loads of other features like audio selection, video quality selection, playback speeds, and more. Now, let's talk about the cons or the current shortcomings of the app. Since it's a review, we have to balance it. Content is king. It's always the king when it comes to streaming TV, uh, content creation services, but this Glow TV currently lacks it. It lacks quality content. It's early days though, so I am not going to take it hard on them. However, I currently have Amazon Prime, Netflix, DSTV now with subscription running on this phone. So Glow TV has to get more content quickly if they want to be taken seriously. Then the second one that really, really did got on my nerve, no trailers. There's actually a feature to watch trailers, uh, but when you click on it, how on it did they add watch trailers option that doesn't work? That's a way to keep people engaged with the app, so I hope they fix that soon. Then let's look at the next one. The data plans that I've talked about earlier, there is no option for unlimited data plan. I mean, Glow, you sell the data, Glow, you have the fiber, and you are bringing a TV app. You can as well chuck in uh, seven days unlimited streaming, 14 days, you know, one month, just for the app. I mean, that will get people hooked on, but it's not there. And then the other one that got to me are several non-functional features in the app 
This one could be annoying, like there's option for subtitles, but it's not working. You have Yoruba movie, Aosa, Igbo, and Indian. I mean, there's even Indian movies there with that subtitle. How are people supposed to enjoy that? Then let's talk about the video resolution. In this age of 4K videos and 8K plus shooting from smartphone, the maximum video re resolution is 720p and um, that's not good. Anyway, since most people are going to watch it from their smartphone, um, I feel that <laughs> that won't be a big problem. Lastly, on the con side, for now, no in-app support, which is kind of sad because as people start watching and start growing, there'll be need for dedicated support. I also went through all the comments on Google Play Store and there was no single reply for each of those concerns. So I believe if Glow can take care of some of this con, I think this app has a lot of promise, considering that they can also sell unlimited data package, they can use their own already network to advertise it, send out SMS and all that to people to use it. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Will you try the Glow TV app? And until I see you next time, peace. The subscribe. I'll see you.